Hey there, welcome to uh, this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I want to talk about the Wii Knives Roman. This is going to be an overview because this is not my knife. This is my father-in-law's knife. So um, I haven't had really a lot of time to actually carry and use it, but you know, I feel like I could kind of give you guys my impressions and who I think uh, this knife is a good fit for. So uh, the knife is manufactured by Wii and then it's designed by Alexandra de Santis. I'm sorry if I butchered that name, uh, but she describes herself as a knife enthusiast. She has an educational background in industrial chemistry, and she is a practitioner of a Filipino martial arts. Uh, this knife, the overall length is about a little under 10 inches. It's about 9.7 inches. So to kind of give you guys an idea of how long <laughs> this knife is i'm gonna bring in the alpha longest knife that i have in my collection which is a spider coat paramilitary 2 and just look at that i mean it it is dwarfed by the roman uh, i want to also bring in i'll bring in the zero tolerance 0562 ti Psh, man look at that and then lastly i'll go ahead and bring out the chris reeve large sabenza 21 and yep doesn't even hold water to the roman it is a very long knife <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say here if that's your cup of tea man this knife is for you uh the closed length on this is going to be 6.15 inches and uh, you're gonna you're getting a very nice uh s35 vn steel a little under four inches long it's about 3.95 inches so you're getting a very long blade and blades uh, thickness is a 0.12 inches so it's relatively a thin blade stock so to bring out uh, just as to compare so here's a paramilitary 2 is thinner than that one i'll go ahead and bring out the 0562 again yep this thinner than that and then lastly this Benza 21 so there you go you know um, so it is a relatively thin uh, blade stock uh, the handle thickness is going to be uh, 0.43 inches so less than half an inch and then you're going to get a very nice weight of 3.32 ounces so it's a very it's a relatively lightweight knife and then you get that uh, cage ceramic ball bearing uh, pivot system which is very very nice now I'm I want to talk about what I love about this knife uh, first off it's a very interesting looking knife you know um, I can't think of any other knife that looks something like this you know it kind of reminds me of uh, like a, a razor like something that you find out in a barber shop you know it's just reminiscent of like that those old school kind of traditional uh, razors which I think is, is very interesting uh, but really going into the, the kind of the design aesthetics of this knife I figured because the designer is a, a practitioner of Filipino martial arts it's really informed her uh, when she was you know uh, designing this knife um, you know when I kind of looked into what Filipino martial arts is is uh, they really focus on weapons first so they utilize um, like sticks and knives um, you know to fight or to you know to practice their martial arts and so I feel like really when Alexandra was designing this knife she really wanted to design this as a weapon first and uh, and uh, utility kind of secondary. I mean, it could definitely, you know, it, uh, serve well as an everyday carry. You know, it has a full flat grind, so I'm sure it'll cut and you know, slice fairly well. But I think it really, really excels in kind of the stabbing uh, penetration cuts. You know, um, the reason why I say that is because you have a very, very fine tip, and then you also have swedges that makes this point even finer. So if you can see right here, look at that. So I feel like this is, it would be great for kind of the stabbing kind of, the stabbing uh, activities, you know. Um, and then also I feel like the reason why this knife is really kind of designed as a weapon first is because you kind of have that, that, uh, 
the, the back of the handle that kind of swells downward. So I feel like if you do want to have a little bit more reach, you could kind of take your hand back there and still have a, a, a secure grip uh, in order to kind of do that stabby motion. And so uh, I might be wrong, but that just seems the most kind of, um, it makes it, it most commonsensical to me. Uh, I am not a practitioner of uh, Filipino martial arts, so I might be totally making this up. <laughs> but I mean, according to like, well, you know, her, you know, according to like what she's into, this is really seems like, yeah, I could see this as like a, a, a self-defense a weapon, you know, um, a stabbing weapon for sure. Granted, I mean, all knives at the end of the day could be used as a weapon, but, you know, that's he uh, neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, very unique, very unique design language, uh, very unique aesthetic. Um, yeah, and you know, I've been, I've been, um, you know, a, a knife nut for over ten years. So when, uh, when a company or knife maker comes out with a very unique, you know, design, you know, I'm intrigued by it. You know, whether I, I wholeheartedly um, subscribe to its you know the purpose of the knife or whatnot if the design's compelling to me it's just compelling to me and that that's what really checked the box for me it's just very it's a very compelling design um I, when i also when i was doing my research um i came across uh, something that said that uh, the handle scale was kind of inspired by the old uh, roadways of the roman empire so i mean that makes sense granted that the name of this knife is called the roman so yeah, it's very interesting. And it does add, you know, some traction to the grip when, you know, when you're holding the knife. It's very pleasant in the hand. Um, also, it's very interesting is this whole backspacer design is actually one piece. You know, when I first saw this knife, I thought this was like a lanyard bead, but actually, it's actually part of the backspacer. So it's all one piece. Very interesting. Kind of looks like a bean. <laughs> um, Yes, yeah, it's, it's super cool. I mean, it's very unique. I don't see any other knives that kind of done this kind of a backspacer design. Uh, yeah, okay, moving on. Um, I love the smooth action. Um, like I said, this is running on a cage ceramic ball bearing system. So you're gonna get that incredible uh, smoothness. Um, it's not like super drop shutty just because it's a very light uh, blade, but it's a very pleasant blade to deploy. It's very smooth, buttery, smooth, glassy, smooth, however way you want to describe it. It's just incredibly smooth. So it's a joy to, to, to use and to open and close. And then also you got that, you know, you, the blade is centered and you got that just rock solid lockup. It's a little less than 50%, but uh, we now have incorporated a steel lock bar insert as well as an over travel uh, stop so it prevents you from overextending the lock bar so it's just a really cool additional feature to have i know a lot of knives uh, knives these days have that uh, but yeah i think it's great when companies or knife makers you know add, you know give you something extra you know for 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 you know what you're paying you know um yeah awesome action Moving on, uh, man, you get that awesome Wii uh, manufacturing and build quality. I couldn't find a single issue with their machining um, anywhere, either on the blade or on the handle. It's just made just perf perfectly, uh, perfectly, sorry about that. It's just impeccably, impeccably made. And I think we could, we've come to expect that of Wii knives. Um, I also own the Wii knives uh, Mini Buster, and same, same thing. It's just, uh, it's made just, uh, the machining on it is just incredible. So, same goes for the Roman. It's, it's quite a, a very, very well machined, well made knife. The last thing I love about this knife is you get um, T8 screws throughout, you know, and that's great. First of all, I like T8, it's a little bit more robust. You know, it kind of helps with you not uh, stripping the screws. And then it's all one size. So you only need one Torx bit to take this knife apart, which is great. It just makes things a little easier. Now moving on to things I'm not a big fan of. First of all, as you can tell, this is a very slender knife. It's a, it has a very slender profile. So uh, the, 
for me, the issue is that when I'm trying to open this knife, right? So this is a top flipper. I just, it feels very, uh, I, I feel like I can't get a, a very secure grip on the knife as I'm opening it. And that could be an issue, especially if, if my hands are slippery or wet and I'm trying to open this knife quickly or trying to, you know, maybe I'm holding something with my other hand and I want to use it one-handed. It feels a little bit insecure. I feel like this knife could drop to the floor at any given moment. And at the same time, I don't want to like have an iron grip on this knife because I don't want to put too much pressure on that lock bar, which will make it hard for that blade to break the detent. So. I feel like I have to kind of gingerly kind of hold this knife while I open it. So that's that. Um, the next thing is um, uh, you don't get a pocket clip and you don't have any options to mount a pocket clip. So really this is gonna be either kind of sitting in your pocket, kind of swinging it around, or you're gonna have to get like a holster or a case uh, to carry it in. So um, if you're like a pocket clip person, um, this knife is, probably not for you and lastly I feel like uh, because of the the way the backspacer is designed uh, you kind of have this empty dead space right here so that see that point of the blade and see how much a space you kind of have right there to kind of it's just kind of just a little bit of a dead space you kind of get that with the uh, paramilitary too in that I feel like they could have really extended that blade a little bit longer so with the Roman you lose about half an inch um, I mean granted this is already an almost four inch blade so I can't see why you would want a longer blade but I mean you know what man if that's your, your jam that's your jam you know but just want to point that out so uh, in conclusion really I feel like if you are the kind of person that likes long slender uh profile knives i feel like this is not for you um i feel like this is not a very fidget friendly knife so if you're into kind of the fidget factor i say this is not very fidget friendly for me it takes uh, you know i feel the most comfortable opening in this knife with two hands so i'll hold the bean in one hand and then i'll just deploy the the, the tab on the other uh, with the other hand so i feel like to me this is the most surefire, surefire way of opening the knife without losing the knife, you know? And it actually, it's actually pretty fun doing it this way. But like I said, if you're like used to like a one-handed, you know, opening, you know, style, you know, for instance, a pair of Paramount 32, like 0562. See these two knives, I could open it one-handed, no problem. I feel like I have a very secure grip while I'm doing so. Uh, this knife not so much I could still do it with one hand but see see it's kind of finicky you know I can't do a rapid deployment or anything and I figured like you know if this knife is designed to be a weapon you would want to be able to open it one-handed you know securely and quickly you know and I can't do either of those two but maybe it's because I don't have that muscle memory yet to deploy a top flipper I don't have any top flippers in my collection, so that might be the case, but I can't imagine that because it has such a thin profile, you don't get a lot of real estate to to just open one-handed, you know? There's a video out there in YouTube where uh, this, uh, uh, you know, there's this individual opening this knife in different ways. They do it one-handed, they do it two-handed, they even catch this tab on like their their leg or or on their pant pocket and it like swings out uh, i haven't tried to do that but to me this is the best way to open it is two-handed and i think it when you do that it just comes out with a quickness and, and with authority so with that being said uh man you know what this knife is really interesting i mean it's not my cup of tea uh, but if it if you're looking for like a really long slender knife that has is just built very well. Um, I think you know the Wee Knife Roman is a great, great uh, knife for you. Uh, with that being said, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have uh, you know a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys later.